kidding. We often think of summer as the best time for produce, but there are plenty of great fruits and veggies in winter, too. So we're going to be tasting the rainbow today with Frank Ginzali from Frank's Quality Produce. You're in right. the market, right? Yes, Piper's Market. Excellent. Come and see him. You have all kinds of things, and it's the right season for these things, correct? Yeah, citrus season is uh, started. We've got uh, blood oranges, car car oranges, Ooh. heirloom navels, a bunch of different varieties of grapefruit. Where are, are they there. coming from, the citrus? Uh, most of it, either California or Florida. Um, bless them. The blood oranges are so delicious down here. What's this one? Is that also a blood orange? That's or is a, that a car car, thing? so it's kind of like a cross between a navel orange and a grapefruit. I, oh, that sounds pretty good, doesn't yeah, it? Very I nice. immediately thought cocktail. I don't know what that says about me. Um, <laughs> tell us about the beets. Um, well, you know, this time of year you're always looking for a good salad, and mm -hmm. um, beet salad is great right now. The gold beet, we got the red beet, there's also the um, Kyoja beet, which has a little white stripe on the inside. Uh, just roasted and put into a salad, is, and you it's know, with spinach, goat cheese, and it's great. Oh, that sounds good. Now, we, we sort of underestimate beets. People think of the beets we had as kids when they came out of a can and everything, you know, your entire face turned red from right. eating them. What's the difference in the taste here? Uh, this kind of has more of a like a deeper flavor to it. These mm -hmm. are a little tiny bit sweeter, um, but you know you could just do a combination of the two. It's good, looks good on the plate. They both taste great. So. They're delicious and good yeah. for you. What about the radishes up front? Yeah, you know, again, you're looking for something to put in a salad. There's not a lot of local what product out that? there, so there's French breakfast radishes. And are, got, is that what those are? Yeah, those, those are the are breakfast cute. radish. Then the Easter egg radishes down below, just a bunch of different colors. Um, just look around. There's all kinds of different varieties out there. Icicle radishes, Cincinnati radishes, like like the long red carrot. Just slice them up, throw them in salads. You know, try something new out Do there. Do they taste different? Some have a kinds? little bit more of a bite to them. Some are a little more mild, but you just kind of got to try them out. The French, I think, are some of my favorite. What is this? What kind of lettuce is this? Uh, that's called Castel Franco Radicchio, and oh my this gosh, is uh, look how pretty that is. Yeah, these are these uh, chicories right here. The Treviso, mm -hmm. the Castel Franco, regular Radicchio are grown by a little farmer up north called uh, Baldy Grown Farms. Wow. A small little farmer, organic farmer, really nice. And are those cool onions? The, the, the these are baby turnips, actually. Oh, those are baby turnips. Yeah, we okay. got some onions on the corner, some little baby turnips you could just uh, slice and roast in the oven. And all of these are good right now. Pomegranates? Yes. Pomegranates, yeah, pomegranates are nice right now. Again, salads or cocktails mm -hmm. or, um, you know, you could puree them and make a little sauce, things like that. They're healthy. Yeah. Uh, what's the trick to getting the seeds out? Um, water is the trick. You fill up your sink or uh, a bowl and you just break it up in the water, the seeds sink, all the rest comes to the top. Okay. Makes it really easy. I did not know that. Now yeah. what the heck is this? This is a citron called <laughs> Buddha hand. And um, what you do with it is if, you, if your recipe calls for like lemon zest or mm -hmm. very thinly sliced um, some kind of a citrus, you could use that. The flavor is unbelievable. It's good for like a lot of desserts. You could slice it real thin and throw it in a salad. Um, well, you could you know, get a lot flavor. of zest out of this. Yeah, this the is all flavor skin. is really just amazing. What does it taste like? Just like it smells. I mean, it's got that really sweet flavor, uh, really deep citrus flavor to it. So, c not tart like a lemon, but a little sweeter than uh, that. A little bit, but um, not quite like a lemon. It's not going to, you know, have that bite to it. I think that's the coolest thing ever. It looks like a sea anemone. Um, little potatoes. Talk to us about little potatoes. Yeah, I like to have those at our house all the time because you just can cook them, you know, three quarters and have them in your refrigerator. You can take them and make them breakfast potatoes. You mm -hmm. can just, uh, you know, throw them uh, on the stove and roast them off, uh, saute them. But, you know, it's just nice to have those little beautiful potatoes. They're great color. I have three kids, so, you know, they like, <laughs> they like color and food. things like that. Well, so, and yeah. the nutrients are, are in the skin, right? Yeah. Also, so yeah. It's, it's good for you if you're going to eat those. Um, and do you have recipes and ideas like this if we come into your store? Yes. All of our guys that work at the market and gals work at the market, they all have lots of recipes. They've worked there for a while, so they they're, they deal with chefs every day. They ask them questions yep. so they can, you know, utilize that and pass it on to the customers. That is really good to know because sometimes when you're just kind of searching for something new, it's fun to try these things. Yeah. So let's talk about this stuff. Um, well, it's still, you know, you can still get good winter squash, the delicata, butternut, there's still acorn and things like that out there. I really like the delicata because you can actually eat the skin, so you just slice it, roast it. Um, you know, it's really, really nice, really sweet. Um, you know, the chards and kales are great. Uh, so good these for little you, sun chokes, I don't know if you've had these before. I don't think um, I have. This is grown by a little farmer in Newacom Valley Farms down in Chehalis. And, um, 
they're really nice. They have a real earthy flavor to them. Uh, you can slice, they have like a texture like a uh, water chestnut almost. Hmm. You can slice them thin and just roast them in the oven with like some parsnips to give it a little sweet flavor. You can cut them super thin, uh, a little olive oil, and make little chips out of them. They're super Ooh, healthy for good. you. Yeah, they're great. If you've, if you've never tried them, it's definitely something to try. That's a good thing to try. And then we still have the, the carrots of all the different varieties. Yeah, a bunch of different varieties of carrots. These ones are, these big fat ones are look grown locally. We call them cartoon carrots, carrots but um, <laughs> you know, they look like just like the ones out of the Bugs Bunny, exactly. you know? And, uh, but they taste really good. They're not, you know, uh, they're really sweet and they're not. Um, they're you know, sweeter than regular carrots? Yeah, I really like these carrots. They're great. Isn't that so? I've locally. never even seen this. Yeah. So this is why we need to go into a specialty store. So when we come in, um, it, apples, let's talk about apples before I ask you anything else. Apples and pears. Yeah, apples and apples kind of What's been a tough right season um, on apples, but we're kind of starting to really come around now. Most of it's already in storage. We're starting to see some bigger sizes. Um, the Pink Lady, this is an opal apple. It's kind of like a cross between a Gala and a Fuji. Really nice and sweet, you know, honey crisp. Everybody loves mm -hmm. those. Uh, little Asian pear apples. Yep. Um, the different varieties of pears. All these are locally grown. Um, and That's so beautiful. the red crimson pears are great, real sweet, nice crisp flavor to them. We can poach these, make a dessert, we yeah, can eat them raw. Yeah, these whatever little we want. guys here too, these little uh, uh, seckle pears. Oh, uh, they're great that. for desserts. You could just slice them in half and just throw them in the oven and bake them off until they get soft and have them with a little ice cream or I whatever. I like it. See, yeah. other people talk about fruits and veggies being good for you. You talk about dessert and cocktails. That's why we keep <laughs> asking you back. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Up next, a wonderful program helping people with disabilities get around more easily. We'll be right back. Yay!